Alright, hi guys. Um, today we're going to talk about gessoing your pantyhose sculpture. So you should have already had at least one coat on uh, that we did in class. Uh, you may have to do two to three coats of gesso on your sculpture. And the reason why we gesso the sculptures uh, so that they're nice and white is because one, it um, creates a nice uh, smooth surface for you to put your acrylic paints on. Uh, and your designs on. Um, another thing is um, it, it creates a nice bright white surface so that your paint colors are nice and vibrant. So what you're going to want to do is open up your container of gesso. Um, but before that I would suggest putting down some newspaper or something to protect uh, your surfaces that you're going to be painting on. Gesso does stain clothing. It also um, is really hard to get off of uh, even smooth flat surfaces like tables. Uh, I would wear some clothing that you don't um, care about too much about or if you have a smock at home or just an old t-shirt that will work too. So take your brush, um, preferably the one with the wooden handle, and go ahead and, and put this all over the surface of your pantyhose sculpture. Now it should not be dripping or glopping off of the, uh, you know, sculpture. So you know, make sure that you smooth it out. And even if, you know, your sculpture appears still really dark, don't worry about it. You can put an additional coat over the top of this. You guys should have plenty of gesso uh, for you guys to cover your, your um, sculptures a few times, maybe twice. Um, great. So I'm going to gesso every single surface of uh, my sculpture except for the bottom. Don't do the bottom because when you go to set it off to the side to dry, you want it to be able to stand upright and it won't stick to the surface that you that you put it on. Okay, so I'm going to continue gessoing and I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, my sculpture has been painted all the way around. Um, I double checked to make sure that I got all the sides, even the ones down at the bottom, and that I don't have any streaks of paint. Everything looks nice and smooth. Okay. Um, next thing I want to talk to you guys about is cleanup for uh, gesso. Uh, in case if you've forgotten or you weren't here that day that we did gesso the first day, make sure that you put the lid back on your container nice and tight. If you still have that tape, um, you know, I would tape it back up the edges uh, just in case if it decides to flip on over, um, it's not spilling all over everything. Uh, it, and if you're going to put it back in the baggie that I gave you, uh, another thing would be to, yeah, definitely make sure that you put the tape back, back on it so it's sealed up nice and tight. And you should have enough um, in case if this dries a little dark, you can go over it uh, a second or maybe even a, th a third time. Okay, I'm going to meet you at the sink and I'm going to show you guys how to wash out your brushes. Okay. Alright, so to wash out your brushes, you want to wash them out uh, very quickly after you're, you're done using them. And the reason why is because this paint will harden inside of the brush bristles and you will not be able to use it again. So what I like to do is I put on some um, water, it doesn't matter the temperature. And I take a little bit of soap. Now, um, you can use hand soap, you can use dish soap, that works great too and just work it inside of your hands as if you were washing your hair. And this should take you a few seconds to get out all of the colors. And I see yellow coming out of this one and it looks like somebody used the yellow paint in it before. Um, so I didn't do a good job cleaning it out. And then you're just gonna rinse it off. And here, make sure you get any off of the handle. And when you're all done um, rinsing this off real good, uh, you can just lay it out to dry um, on a paper towel. I like to squeeze out any extra um, water that's in it too, just to help it dry a little bit faster. And that's it. 